Hey, everybody. So Avalanche is an open source platform for launching decentralized applications and enterprise blockchain deployments in one interoperable, highly scalable ecosystem. And Avalanche is the first decentralized smart contracts platform built for the scale of global finance with near instant transaction finality. And we want to do everything we can to help developers and entrepreneurs on ramp into the Avalanche ecosystem with as little friction as possible. So with that in mind, we recently recently launched an offering to deploy an Avalanche validator node via the AWS marketplace. And this video will be showing the main steps required to get this node up and running and validating on the Avalanche Fuji testnet. So here you can see the Avalanche validator node available in the AWS marketplace, the product overview. First thing you're going to want to do is to click the continue to subscribe button, which will take you to this page. As you can see, I'm already subscribed to the software or else there would be another button here you can click, which will allow you to subscribe to this software. Below that, you can see some terms and conditions with an uh, end user license agreement and some other privacy notice that you may want to check out. Next, you're going to want to continue to configuration. There's actually nothing here I'm going to change. I'm going to leave the uh, Amazon machine image as it is. The software version is the latest build of the Avalanche Go full node software, and this is the region I want to deploy in. And then over here on the right, you can see the software pricing and the infrastructure pricing. Next, we want to continue to launch. And then here, there's very minor that I'm going to want to change. Um, we want to launch from website. We're going to leave the EC2 instant type, instance type as a C5 2x large. The main thing is I want to select the key pair that I'm going to use to SSH into this machine. I'm going to actually drag this off screen so that I can search for the key pair that I want to use without revealing any other key pairs which are tied to this Amazon account. You can see we're going to use the Avalanche key pair that's actually saved on my local machine, which will allow me to SSH into this EC2 instance and run some curl commands. So next we want to just hit the launch button. And there it is. It's successfully running and deployed on EC2. It will give us an AMI ID, which we're going to use to then give public IP address that we can SSH into this box. I'm going to do that via the EC2 console, but again, I'm going to actually drag this off screen so that when I search for this AMI ID, I don't reveal any other AMI IDs which are tied to this particular Amazon account. And here we go. So here is this EC2 instance. It's running the validator node and it will give us a public IP address that we can then SSH into. So we wanna copy this. I'm gonna jump on over to my terminal. I'm gonna SSH into this machine. So now I'm here and there's a couple of things that you wanna do. First, you want to confirm that the uh, node is bootstrapping and or is bootstrapped. So first, we're going to run this curl command. You can see it's on localhost at port 9650, and we're calling the info.isbootstrapped and passing in the P for the chain as a parameter. And you can see that it says is bootstrapped false. You're going to want to wait for this to bootstrap so that you don't suffer any downtime after adding your validator node as a validator on either the primary network or the Fuji testnet. For the sake of this demo, I'm not going to wait for it to finish bootstrapping because it's not strictly necessary, but you probably want to wait for that to happen before you fulfill these next steps. Next, we're going to call the info.getNodeID command and get this node ID. This is actually required. This is the node ID of the validator node, which was just spun up on AWS. So let's copy that. Now we want to jump back over to our browser and we're going to go on over here to uh, wallet.avox.network, which is our web wallet. Normally, if you were validating on the primary subnet, it would take 2,000 AVOX, but for the sake of testing on Fuji testnet, we only require one AVOX. You can see I have 998 AVOX available in my PeeChain uh, wallet. You can see I'm connected to the Fuji testnet over here. So we go to the Earn tab, click Add Validator, paste in our node ID, which we copied from the previous page here. And then the amount of time you can stake has to be between two weeks and a year is the best way to say it. By default, it sets us up for three weeks. Let's do 15 days. Click OK. And then, like I said, you only need to stake one Avox in order to become a validator on the Fuji testnet. And then the delegation fee is the percent that you will be paid, that your node will be rewarded if a delegator adds stake to your validation weight by delegating stake to you. For now, let's just leave this as the default. And then you can see after the 15 days, the funds will be returned to this address, which is my P chain address matches up here at the top right. So now let's click confirm, make sure everything looks correct. It does. And we're going to hit submit. So now the transaction is sending and boom, you can see it says your tokens are now locked to stake. 
and updates our list of transactions. And if we click the magnifying glass, it'll actually fire up a new tab and will show us the transaction we just did is successful. And now we have this node ID that uh, will soon be a validator for 15 days on the Fuji testnet. So there is now another thing we wanna do. We wanna jump on over to the terminal and open a new tab. And then we actually wanna now call the api.avox-test.network which is the Fuji JSON RPC available over our public API. And we're calling validators. We're actually going to pipe this through JQ just so we get some nice um, formatted JSON as the output. And then here you go. So if you remember, our node ID is this. If we search for it, we can see it right there. So now the node that we just spun up via the AWS Marketplace is a pending validator on the Fuji testnet. It will be in this state for five minutes. And after five minutes, you can actually call the platform dot get current validators endpoint and then search for this. You can actually pass in the node ID as a string as to this array, or you could just search through the return JSON. And you will see that the node we spun up was in fact added as a validator on the Fuji testnet. So that is what it takes to add a validating node via the AWS marketplace to the Avalanche Fuji testnet. Hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or you want to follow up in some way, please join our Discord channel. It's available at chat.avox.network. Thank you so much. Cheers.